Good morning! Today I'm going to film a what I eat in a day and I'm going to, it's just a random Thursday, nothing special, no outings planned for today um, and so I'm just going to just cook simple recipes, simple meals that I cook every day starting with breakfast. Oh, and we're getting a bit steamy already. Um, I'm just sauteing a bunch of asparagus and I'm going to pour over some eggs which I've beaten with a smidge, okay, a generous smidge of cream and I'm just going to make kind of asparagus scrambled eggs and that's going to be my breakfast and I'll show you as I go. Here you go, I've got my, I've popped five in there, five eggs in there, so it'll be two and a half each for myself and my husband. Five eggs and a nice smidge of cream and I'm just beating that until it's nice and smooth and in a sec I will go over to the eggs and just pour this over and mix it until we've just got some set scrambled eggs. Now of course you can make an omelette but I am making scrambled eggs so I'm just going to keep on mixing this until oh, again, it gets steamy in the kitchen. Um, we're, I'm just going to mix this until we've got some nice asparagus scrambled eggs and then pop them onto two plates. So that is my breakfast. Pretty steamy. Um, it's really took just like just mere minutes to pop together and you could, top, you could top it with a bit of sour cream or some feta or other cheese or a little, little shaving of parmesan um, or just have it like this. I'm going to add a bit of shake of salt and that is my breakfast. So keep watching for the rest of the day where I will be sharing my meals and snacks and any other keto fun which happens today. Okay, this concoction is going to be some sort of a chocolatey avocado mousse. I'm just playing around with flavors. So I've popped some, a couple of tablespoons of mascarpone, a tablespoon of cream. I've got half an avocado in there, um, a half a teaspoon of cacao and a half a teaspoon of psyllium husk. I just feel I want the nourishment from a little bit of psyllium husk and fiber so I'm just gonna mix this together and make some sort of a impromptu avocado chocolate mousse for one. Okay as I said today is all about easy quick food and this little dessert which I'm having before lunch because I just I'm just been thinking about oh I want to make an avocado chocolate mousse and the more I think about it and stop playing around with ingredients the more I want to just make it so I've made it and this is more to test I'm probably gonna share the finished recipe with you in the next couple of weeks maybe so make sure you're subscribed um, and so I'm just really experimenting with different flavors so I added a bit more cacao and I added a smidge of my favorite sweetener my organic stevia added a little half teaspoon of that and it tastes quite good I'm still gonna keep experimenting but mmm so that's kind of an avocado chocolate mousse um, I did this by hand with my fork in my bowl I would definitely um, next time I make it, make a bigger batch and grab out my beaters because there's little chunks of avocado in there, which um, I don't think you're supposed to have that when you're making avocado chocolate mousse. Um, so I'll be using my beater and um, but I'll anyhow I'll leave a link down below to how I made this and my interim recipe, but I am going to have my avocado chocolate mousse mark two coming up um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, so that is kind of my hmm, mid-morning snack pre-lunch recipe testing. This is kind of what I do. You're getting a bit of a behind the scenes here. And um, I'm going to have lunch probably in an hour or two and I will show you that when it happens. For lunch, I'm having a big salad, a halloumi salad. I've got a whole lot of spinach leaves under there and some chopped cucumber and chopped celery. And I've drizzled over a bit of apple cider vinegar and olive oil. And I've topped it with a little portion of grilled halloumi. Um, almost, uh, fried halloumi. <laughs> so I love halloumi. It's just uh, one of my favorite ingredients to play with and I tend to have it regularly for lunch. So this is just an ordinary lunch after that extraordinary morning snack which absolutely tastes delicious. Um, I'm going to tweak the recipe a little bit more and share the full version soon but this is my lunch anyhow. Lovely loads of greens and some good protein and fats. And that's my lunch for today. And now we've just got dinner left tonight. Okay, it's dinner time. What I've done is I've cut up 
a whole lot of, well, I first cooked, I've got chicken sausages. I fried them up and the kids have had eaten some of them and now I'm prepping dinner for my husband and I. I've cut the rest of the sausages. There were four sausages there. I've cut them into little bite-sized pieces and I'm going to cook them with cauliflower. So first off, I'm going to saute the cauliflower till it's a little nice and golden and I've got some garlic cloves I've chopped up as well. I'm just going to saute that in coconut oil and a bit of salt. And um, you could do it with turmeric as well if you want to. But these sausages have such lovely flavor. I'm going to just get the flavor from them. Um, <laughs> cheeky cat thinks he's going to get a sausage. <gasps> oh, um, <laughs> so I'm going to saute the cauliflower and the garlic in coconut oil with a bit of salt. And then I'll add the sausages and that's kind of going to be my dinner, sautéed cauliflower and sausages. As often happens, I decided to pop a bit of seasoning on it and the seasoning I chose was paprika. I was just standing over watching the cauliflower cook and sauté away and as often happens, inspiration struck and I thought, oh, paprika would go good with this. <laughs> so I have my cauliflower sautéing and browning and crisping away beautifully there and I just added a couple of shakes of paprika and stirred it through and now that it's getting to this beautiful browning stage I have added the chicken sausages and I'm going to stir it all through and just cook it until those sausages are browned a bit further on all sides and we have a lovely beautiful sauté dish one pan dish that we're going to have for dinner um, you could have it just like that or you could add a bit of your favourite sauce to it um, some sour cream or some mayo or even a bit of olive oil or avocado oil um, it's totally up to you just make it your own and have a bit of fun it's just one of those really easy meals sausages cauliflower just lots of veg um, so I'll show you once I've got it all plated up and pretty and that is my dinner bowl you can see all the crispy cauliflower and the crispy sausages I'm getting steamy again um, so that's my dinner bowl thanks so much for watching what I eat in a day full of easy keto low carb meals if you like the video leave a like and subscribe I share three new videos every week I share keto low carb recipes and what I eat in a day and updates on how I'm going on the keto diet I'm about five six weeks in now all about six weeks I've lost track I'm just loving it so subscribe and join the Yummy Inspirations community and leave a comment. Let me know what's your favorite easy keto meal. Let me know. I look forward to reading it and we'll see you again soon. Bye.